Alright guys, we're just kind of chugging along through here now. We're on to like part 35. VV, we made it. Where are we? We're at Pinnacle Rocks. It's supposed to be near Lindblom Castle. Pinnacle Rocks. Lindblom. The Gargant took us this far. Where's Freya, Steiner, and Beatrix? And Zidane? He went to check the area. Dagger, you're awake. Do you feel okay? Where is everyone, Zidane? I don't know. We're really far from Alexandria. Hey, don't worry. The Tantalus guys are with them, too. It's almost nightfall. They're probably in Treno by now. Do you think we can borrow an airship in Lindblom? Treno is only steps away if we can reach South Gate. Yeah. Are you our enemy? That is up to you. My name is Ramu. Uh, don't be his enemy. He is very powerful. I've heard your name somewhere. I've seen your name in a book I read about summoning magic. You must be Ramu, the Thunder God. Do you know that your summon magic destroyed Clara? Clara? The Eidolon follows its summoner's orders. I responded to the orders of a woman filled with greed this time. No, mother! I can't believe it. I was confined while Clara was destroyed. It wasn't your fault, Dagger. They knew. That's why they stayed behind. Everyone. Two, you are not the one who caused the destruction. But I must ask you, what will you do now? If I were more powerful, if I could use summon magic, I beg of you, please help me. And cause more destruction? No, I was afraid of my summon magic, but not anymore. Many years have passed since I last served a master. I must test to see whether you're truly fit to be my master with more destruction. Oh wait, no. <laughs> a puzzle. I will hide five manifestations of myself in this forest. Each one will carry a piece of my the hero's story. Collect all five pieces and tell me the story. Put together the story to my satisfaction, I shall become your Eidolon. Sorry, I know I must hurry. It's okay, Dagger. I'll help you too. Thanks, you too. Upon a time, 33 small countries fought together against an empire. One day, a rebel troop visited a man named Joseph, who lived with his daughter. Owing a debt to the troops, he gladly accepted their plea for help. They headed for a cavern in the snowfield. Brown is up to something, but I suspect Princess Garnet even more, Koopo. She might leave home soon with a prince on a white horse. Maybe it's just my imagination. A very cold place right now. It's really strange. It wasn't like this the last time I came here. But I guess this is why I travel, to encounter the unexpected. Any, anywho, I gotta get out of here before I get trapped in ice. He wants mail, Koopo.
Mithril Vest. Second manifestation of Ramu is their historian's explanation. The fact that they didn't report Joseph's death to his daughter was indicative, indicative of their guilt for failing to protect him. In the end, the heroes are also human. That's human. You have three to go. Do I have to actually physically remember all of these? That could suck. That could massively suck. On their way home, they fell into a trap set by a traitor. Joseph gave his life to save the troop. The troop left without telling Joseph's daughter, Nellie, about the tragedy. There was a manifestation. With Joseph's help, the troop defeated the adamant twice in the snowfield cabin and acquired the goddess's bill. They needed to enter the Empire's castle. As cooperation, you have one to go. This is very, very confusing. Like, how do I? Weird. Gotta know where I'm going. We should probably tent. Just, you know, seems like a good idea. So I have to complete the puzzle at some point here. Chest? Cause 
because it's not immediately apparent to me. Oh, unless we jump. It's entirely possible that's what we're supposed to do. See ya. come back here once I jump off, but I can get to that treasure chest. Jump. Well, you can get back. It just takes a little bit longer. Now I have to find the final manifestation of Ramu, which is here. There's one left of me. Uh, no. Where? Where the hell would he be? Gotta find the last manifestation of Remu. Although Joseph's death was not reported as his daughter, the matter of his death speaks for itself. This is the true story of a true hero. That's hero, the last piece. Yay! That also means we can get the F out of here. The most important thing. So you found all five. Let's hear the story. However, the story comprises four parts. One of them doesn't be that long. Be sure to choose only four. Oh, thanks for the twist. Please don't get into battle while I uh, save, just in case I screw this up, because I probably will. I mean, I could look up the answer, but that's just cheating. That's just wrong. We don't do that around these parts. Yeah, we 
can't go. Okay, we can't go there. Begin. Choose the four pieces carefully. Joseph. And report his death. He gave his life. She pled without telling Joseph and Nelly about the tragedy. Chuck Hero. I chose beginning. Silence. Human. And cooperation. Upon a time, 33 countries fought together against an empire. One day, well, yeah. They went home, they fell into a trap set by a traitor. Joseph gave his life to save the troop. The troop left without telling Joseph started Nelly about the tragedy. That does not make up a story. Start over. Beginning. Silence. Cooperation and hero. Let's recite your story. Beginning. Silence. Cooperation. Hero. Does not make up a story. Start over. afraid you must start over. Beginning. Cooperation. Human and hero. Wrong, I'm afraid you must start over. Beginning is definitely in. Choose beginning. Cooperation and hero. Does that... The frick? Let's just... Because I'm just... This 
just gonna look it up. And then it's silence. So you have to get the first three right, and then the last one doesn't matter. We'll choose hero. Yeah, see, the thing was that I'm, I, I'm confused about the ordering of things. But yeah, the second would obviously be that they defeat the Adam and Toys, and then... Oh, they did that, and then fell into the trap after. I see. That's what I was confused about. I thought the Adam and Toys was the trap. So that they fell into that trap, and then they defeated the trap at the cost of his life. And then the last, it's either human or hero, it doesn't matter. Are you satisfied with your choices? I am. Let me ask you one thing. How come you chose hero for the conclusion? People follow a person who keeps on track. That's why I think a hero who acts in a straightforward manner is remembered for generations. I want to know what you think in your own words. Me. I'm away from my country, but I haven't forgotten about my people. Your soul is very tense right now. Maybe it'll begin to relax once I become your eye along. Thank you. There are many paths. Remember that you alone choose the path on which you walk. Peridot. Whatever that is. Maybe now. Let's go to Lindblom. Hey, old man, you're gone already. You're gone already? Oh. What's wrong? I wanted to ask him why he made Dagger play such a silly game. Heroic human, those are just things people say after the fact. Why try to give meaning that, to what the main character of the story chose? I think the old man would have become her idol on either way. Yeah, the whole it doesn't matter part. That's the impression I got. Zdane, Vivi, let's go. You're exactly right. It's not what people say afterwards. What's important is being true to oneself. She may not have realized it, but when she wished to learn how to use summon magic, the summon power returned to her. Some magic can be used for good or evil. She is still young, but there is room for growth. So I chose her as my master. I'll be watching over her. I hope you two will also protect her. Y yeah, of course. Look, it's Limblum Castle. I think we can turn back once we jump off. What do you want to do? Jump off. Zidane. I want to use summon magic to protect everyone. I know you can do it, Dagger. Zidane! Look, 